Hello everyone. So we are going to start with our new project. I hope you have already seen the previous video where we have completed the AWS Blue project. Okay, based on the Lambda trigger and all. So in this particular project, what actually we are going to do? We have one of the scenario. Okay. So suppose in a real time, what actually happens whenever you will go and whenever you will join any company, uh, what actually happen in you will be having a suppose uh, source is as S3. Okay. Suppose you have a source S3 bucket. So whenever you get a data, okay, that data actually get in a particular folders. Okay. Suppose you have got a data for the first of July. Okay. Now the, from the next day, whenever you will get the data that will get stored into a second of July, like that's the third July, fourth July and fifth of July. Okay. So when you will do a crawler, okay, whenever you do a crawler, so crawler will go to the S3 location and it will crawl all your data. Okay. Whenever you will select the S3 folder. So now today we are going to see how actually we can handle that scenario. Whenever you have a bucket in a bucket, the multiple folders are there with the help of that. How actually we can create a partition. Okay. Based on the partition table, we will create and uh, the crawler will go to the S3 location. It will crawl all your table and it will create only one table with the partitions. So that is the scenario we will, we are going to see. And after that, we will perform some kind of transformation. And finally, with the help of the ETL script and the glue studio, we will load into a, our output folder. Okay. So this scenario we are going to see. Okay. Let me open my AWS console. Once you will, open, so this is my AWS console. Okay. So here in Amazon S3, I have one bucket that bucket name is source input. If I will open this, you will get to see we have a multiple folders. You can see I have first of January data in, in this data. I have a one file that is a data one dot CSV. Similarly, uh, the second day of data is also there. Similarly, the third day data was also there. Similarly, the fourth day data is also there. Means every day the file is coming into this particular folder. Okay. So now what actually we are going to do, we are going to use a AWS glue. We will try to see how actually with the help of the crawler, uh, with this folder, how actually we can create a partition. Okay. So what actually I will do, uh, what actually I will do, I will open my AWS glue. Okay. Let me open in a separate tab, search for the AWS glue. Now we will create a crawler. Okay. The crawler. With the help of the crawler, we will try to crawl our data, which is available into a S3 location. So I'll click on the crawler. Click on the crawler. Click on the add crawler. Give the crawler name. You can give any name. Okay. Click on the next. Okay. Uh, you can see we have a specified crawler source type. What is our source type? I will select the data store and I am selecting the crawl all folders. Okay. So I select that. Click on the next. What is our source? Source is S3. And after that, I will give a path. So in a path, I will just select the input. I am not going to select this all the individual. Okay. I will just select this S3 path. Click on the select. Click on the next. I am not going to add another data store, so click on the next. I am role. What is the I am role we are going to play? I will give name as a glue role uh, project something so that we will remember that. Click on the next. Run on demand. I will select. Click on the next. Uh, what is output? So let's create new data set, new database. Database name I will give as a glue. Click on the create. What is the prefix? If you want to give, you can give. Otherwise, it is optional. Next, and after that, you we just have to click on the finish. Now our crawler will get ready. You can see our crawler is now ready. Click here. Now click on the run crawler. Okay. Once it will run, it should only create one folder because in in S3 bucket we have a multiple folder, so it shouldn't create a four to five uh, table. Okay. It should create only one table. Okay. So let's see whether it's working or not. So our crawler is now starting. Once it will complete, you will be able to see like one table will get created. Okay. And after that, we will see how actually uh, we can explore that.
now if you will see our table is got added okay one table got added let me go to the table so this is the only one table which we have okay if i will click here okay now if you can see we have one more option it is coming partition and indices okay or uh, now if you will go to the schema you can see you have column name you have data type but you can also see one partition key the partition key is like partition 0 it has given let us try to explore more if you will click on the view partition you can say these are the partition which got created based on the date uh, based on the each and every folder one partition is getting created so that is how in a real world also we try to handle with the help if the new folder will come the crawler will not go and it because it already crawl this particular folder right so whenever the new folder will come that folder only it will crawl and it will add into a partition only it is not going to create a uh, new table or something okay so that is how actually we can use a partitions okay if you click on the partition and indices here also you can uh, see and if you want to edit if you go to the edit schema and if you want to change this uh, name uh, you can uh, change it also okay like if you want to do any kind of the changes that is so you can do it let me click on the cancel so that is how actually our partition will get created now what we are going to do now is we are going to create one job so i will click on the jobs okay I will select the visual with the source and target only. We have a multiple option with that we can do a ETL, but I will select visual with the source and target. Click on the create. Okay, what is our source? Now let us give the our source database and that table we have to specify. Okay, source database. Okay, even and here actually you can pass the partition one. Okay, but as of now we are not going to do that now our source is ready if you will see the output schema you will get to see and there is one more key which is a partition zero which got created okay now uh, if you want to apply any kind of the mapping you can do okay and so suppose if you want to apply any kind of the mapping here actually you can do it so if i will select uh, suppose let me select the select field so what are the fields you want to select you can just select that okay let me select this all the fields so this is the uh, this is a particular transformation which will be happen okay now let us create our target location so after this let me create one target so what is our target target is s3 give the uh, we want to save into a csv only let's not change any other and we will save into a s3 location our output location so that is the location i will give okay and if you want to add a partition key here also you can add it now our uh, etl is now ready go to the script you can see one script is getting generated automated script is now generated click on the save okay now go to the job details here actually we have to provide the job details so blue project something we can give okay i am role what is the i am role so this is the role we have created so i will select that okay language is python and the worker type let's select the worker type as a two okay and number of retry so you can uh, give the retry but i am not giving a retry now job timeout let's select as five minutes okay after that let us save it I think some issues there. Uh, let's see whether we have selected everything or not. Uh, yeah, everything I hope we have selected. Go to the advance. Okay, so this is the field which we haven't given. So let us give this name as a script something because the script is also going to save. Okay, so this is the particular location where actually it is going to be saved. Now click on the save. Okay. And now we have created one I am right. I am role. So let us assign I am role like S3 access also. Otherwise, it will give error when you will run. So I will open an I am role. I will search for whatever the I am role I have created. Okay. So go to the roles. 
and uh, this is one this is one which we have created click here click on the add permission attach policy let us try to attach s3 policy okay as of now i am giving the full access but uh, when you will work in a production environment only the necessary access only you have to give you do not have to give the whole access okay okay now our this one is ready okay now what actually i will do i will just click on go to the run and i will just try to run it okay now this should get saved into our output folders so let us see whether it's working fine or not okay so that is how with the help of the partition actually you can uh, in a one table itself you can create a partition okay instead of uh, creating a multiple table in a one table you will be having a multiple folders where the file is will be coming uh, so with the help of the crawler automatically with the help of that folder name uh, the one partition will get created okay so that is how actually we can work and we work in a real time also and let us see whether it's working fine or not you can see status is still in run status so let's wait it to be completed you can see now it is completed successfully let us go to the s3 location let me go to the my output folder and here you can see with the help uh, based on the part file it got created and if you will see and if you will download the data you will be able to see that okay based based on the each partition one part file is got created and it got transferred okay if you will open this because when we save into a CSV format, you will be able to see the data. So this is the data which we have, and you can see one partition column also got created. And uh, in a partition column, you can see uh, this is the you will get to see this is the second day data is there. Okay, if you will download a other folder, you will get to know like this file is from the that partition folder. If I will download this you will get to see okay this this will be very useful okay whenever we will do any kind of the query okay whenever we will uh, whenever we will start our lesson about the uh, athena you will get to see how actually we can do a query with the help of this partition okay let me open this now if you will see you can see this is the 0104 partition okay from this folder this file is coming Okay, so that is how actually we can create a partition and with the help of the partition we can transfer our file.